Okay, so let's look at slide 10, example 4.07. An open link chain is obtained by bending low carbon steel rods into the shape shown. For a 160 pound load, determine the maximum tensile compressive stresses in the straight portion of a link. The distance between the centroidal and neutral axis of the section. So we're gonna look at a straight portion of the link. This is a curved section. We're looking at a straight portion of the link. Now let's look at slide 11. That's just a picture of a open link chains, open link chains. So we are looking for the maximum tensile compressive stresses in the straight portion of the link. So we're looking at the t um, right and left rightmost and leftmost portion of uh, the straight portion of a link. Okay, so we're taking a cut at the straight portion of the link. We're taking a cut here in the straight portion of the link. So the problems will give you um, what section to look at. So the problem said the straight portion and notice when we do a free body diagram, when we do a free body diagram, it doesn't really matter what cut because it will still be the same P and moment. Okay. So our game plan is to, let's turn to slide 12. Our game plan is to do the centric load plus the moment, the stress distribution from the moment, so to get the eccentric loading. So if we take a cut at the straight portion of the link, this load is going to cause an eccentric load because this load does not go through the centroid of this section right here, this cross section. So this is a eccentric loading. Okay, so first we wanna find the force and we wanna find the internal force and the internal moment at the section that we want. So we take the sum of the forces in the X direction, okay? We take a cut at where the section that the problem states. So there is a force downwards, 160 pounds. So P is upwards, 160 pounds. When we take the summation of the forces in the X direction equals to zero. Now let's take the sum of the moments at point C equals to zero. Okay, right here. This 160 pound force is gonna make a counterclockwise motion okay a moment counterclockwise so it's going to be 160 times 0.65 counterclockwise so that means this moment has to be clockwise and the magnitude is p times d so 160 times 0.65 equals to 104 pounds inch clockwise Okay, so we found moment, we found P. Now let it let us, uh, and uh, slide 13 tells us, uh, yeah, moment equals P times D, which is 104 pounds inch. Okay, so now we're moving on to slide 14. Okay, so now, now let's do the centric load. So what we wanna find the stress from this P right here. Okay, so that's going to be, from the centric load, that is P over A, right? 